Today, Jeff is going to be giving you a closer look at this express card. All right, so we got this uh, Quisimt, uh Super Speed USB 3.1 PCI Express card. Uh, we're going to go ahead and review that. Uh, we'll show you what comes in the box. Uh, basically, there's a little manual inside. Uh, it comes with a driver CD, just in case you have a, a CD-ROM drive. Um, and uh, and this is a little board, as you can see, it's, it's pretty small. So his footprint in your machine is not very big. So if you uh, got a small machine, then he's probably what you're looking for. And if you need a uh, USB 3.1, he's a good little buy. Comes with a Type-C as well. So let me show you exactly uh, on a motherboard. It's not plugged into any machine. Uh, where it would go so that you can look at your machine and see if you can actually use this or not. So these little guys right here are PCI 1.0, will not work. Okay, These guys are PCI 2.0, it will not work. So what you're looking for is these guys right here, these three. That's PCI Express. Okay, And it'll work in any one of them, uh, 4X, uh, uh, 8X, and 16X. It'll work in, in any of them. So just uh, so you can quick look at the board and, and you can see which one's PCI Express is it's got the the little part first and then there's a little break right there and then a long part. Okay. All the rest of them are a little bit longer with a short or long with a short. So that's what you're looking for is the short to long and it'll fit right on in there just like that. And I'll shove right on in there. So let's go ahead and put this in a real machine and I'll show you the uh, what kind of results we get from it. Okay, so here you go. You can see that it's in the machine. And as I said earlier, it's a very small footprint. Uh, there's really nothing to it. Now, the only unfortunate part is make sure that you have a SATA power uh, so that it's powered. I, I thought it would be powered enough by the PCI Express slot, but um, it wasn't. So I had to put in the SATA power uh, in order to to get it to work. And the also, the good thing about it is that I'm running Windows 10 and I did not need to install any drivers. It just, it found it, knew exactly what it was and totally works. So if you want to come around here to the side and see what it looks like on the machine. And on, uh, as you can see, it's, it looks really nice, uh, especially on my machine, everything's black, so, um, so it, looks, it looks really nice on my machine because machine everything is black anyway, so it blends in really well. So let's uh, test the speeds. Unfortunately, I do not have a USB 3.1 floppy drive, or not floppy, <laughs> uh, flash drive. I know, right? <laughs> um, but as you can see, I plugged that in there. He's a 3.0, so we'll be able to see the speeds of a 3.0. Um, um, and uh, if you're wondering what the speeds are, USB 3 is about 5 gigabits a second, and USB 3.1 should be about 10 gigabits per second. So it should definitely be faster. Um, but we'll only be able to see 3.0 because of uh, the uh, flash drive I have in there is only 3.0. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer a uh, Windows 10 Pro ISO, which is 3 gigs, 3.5 three gigs, over here and we'll be able to see the speeds of what it's transferring as. And there you go, about 90, 90 megabytes per second, which is uh, fast USB 3.0 speeds. So I have no doubt that uh, the 3.1 speeds will be there as well if you get a 3.1 uh, USB flash drive. And also the uh, USB-C uh, should be fast as well. It's using the same controller, so. Uh, but there you have it. Everything works, speed works. Remember that you will need a PCI Express slot in your machine and also a SATA power. Uh, if you do not have a SATA power, then it will not work. So you need that as well. Um, and also, if you need drivers, it comes with the CD. Uh, and if you're running Windows 10, like I am, you won't need drivers. You'll just find it. And there you have it.